So uh, why hello there guys, my name is Orb and welcome to my newest setup video and yeah I promise you a setup video for my new my new brocade, my man lair and my, my gaming room overall and uh, yeah I've imported some IKEA furniture uh, or not really imported because I live in Sweden but bought and purchased some IKEA furniture so some of that I've, I've done some new additions with my uh, gaming gear as well so yeah I thought I'd show you around and hopefully you will enjoy so let's go. Right away, without further ado, follow me, cameraman. Here we got an IKEA shelf being built, currently in progress. In progress, there's a few things about the room that is incomplete. First off, the the the, the lamp up top. I need to uh, yeah, I need to change that out. I'm gonna have lights here. I'm gonna have lights here to make sort of a professional. When I'm streaming, the webcam is up here, so I want like lights coming at me so it will look all tops and good but uh, yeah as you're probably able to tell if you watched my previous setup video we were over there gaming before but now we moved over to the corner area right here and yeah I thought it will take you on from the left to right and then show you everything that's new uh, so yeah let's begin with uh, I don't know this right here and that gear switch because I'm gonna have you know this computer gonna have the streaming PC once that is complete, the Xbox as well, so I obviously need more connections. The Switch helps me out. Netgear Switch is what I choose, I guess. Uh, first monitor, my not primary monitor anymore. I used to have that as my primary monitor. Now it is my secondary monitor. And this is a Bank XL 2410T monitor. And uh, yeah, it's super, super good. 2ms response time, 120 hertz. Really, really good for gaming, but yeah. Kind of, kind of over, over expensive, I feel, but I want both of these monitors, so I guess I'm lucky. I guess I'm, I'm, I'm lucky that I'm good at video games. Um, other than that, we got iPhone, not important. We got, we can jump to the second monitor here, or the primary monitor. This is a Samsung, whatever the face it's called, I don't know. It's got a weird, weird model name. Uh, you will find it down in the description below. Uh, super good as well. I use this as my primer now. It has a bit better colors, a bit better contrast, I feel. Uh, has the same uh, same specs as the Bank XL 2410T monitor, which is 120Hz to MS response time, if I'm not mistaken. Otherwise, bash on me in the comments. Free to do so. Ah, what should we do? What should we jump on next? Uh, yeah, you can see, you just want to mention that. You see, I have towels. I don't know if you can see. Can you see that? I have towels under my monitors. And um, I actually got this idea from Shibi2142 and the reason behind this is it's easier to move and they don't make, make like dents in the table. Even though these are robust, these cost a lot. This is Ikea by the way, Ikea. And also the shelves are Ikea, the bed is Ikea, the nightstand is Ikea, everything is Ikea in here. Uh, but yeah, these, this is really robust but still I don't want to, you know, I don't want to have any dents or, you know, I still want to have the, the the freedom of moving my monitors about without any struggles, so now I can just pull at the towels uh, and the monitors will move. Magic, I know, it's kind of crazy, right? Jesus. Uh, next thing we're gonna jump on is the headset, and this is one of the newest additions that I've added. As you can see, this is the Diablo 3, kind of the SteelSeries Siberia V2s. Uh, I don't know if they have the exact same uh, uh, specs, but uh, it's pretty much the same uh, with the Diablo 3 edition. Uh, I've tried checking on the box, it doesn't say Stilusis Abrea V2s, but I mean, it's kind of the same. Uh, I don't know about the specs, but yeah, kind of cool, kind of glowing here, kind of bad. Battery. Battery. What about battery? Low. Battery is low, okay, good. We gotta, <laughs> we gotta move on. Uh, we got a mouse here, Diablo 3 mouse. I uh, don't know what model it is or if it's trying to resemble another mouse, but uh, yeah. I just bought that, I just unboxed them both, uh, so both this, the headset and the mouse is just unboxed. So I haven't really tried them out, I can't really tell you if they're super good or not, I don't know. Other than that we get SteelSeries 6, 6 gv 2 this uh, mechanical keyboard right here with black switches, awesome, I've played with that for a while, I, I like it a lot, it's good. Got 5.1 surround sound here that I'm gonna have to redo or redo, I have to repurchase it. I have to buy another one because this piece of crap doesn't work. The subwoofer is giving me all kinds of issue issues. So we're going to try and change that out, switch that out as soon as possible. But as for now, this is what we're rocking. Up here we have a webcam, a studio live 1080p 
something Microsoft webcam. It's working great. I love it. It's good. We have two mouse pads here. As you can see, we have the QCK Plus from SteelSeries, the SK Gaming Edition, Limited Edition, I believe. Uh, and on that, I have the Zoe Swift. I think this is called the Zoe Swift uh, hard surface pad. And uh, the reasoning behind having two mouse pads is um, this kind of. If I move my mouse quickly, this uh, mouse pad can actually move. But when I have it on another mouse pad, uh, the risk of that is limited. So that is uh, the reasoning behind that. We have a mic crane here from Rode or Rode something. I don't know how you pronounce that. Uh, a crane here uh, for the Blue Snowball mic, as I have right here. We have a dual pop filter, dual, dual something pop filter uh, to prevent all the peas from uh, from happening, uh, as well as spit hitting the mic. And move my chair here. Uh, another addition I have right here. I don't know if you can see Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Gunner Optics. With these, you will become the king of the, the, the Moabs, I guess. I don't know. We gotta try. I'm gonna try those out because I haven't done that yet. It's pretty much like you, you have a Moab constantly because of the, the yellow tint. Uh, it's a kind of kind of interesting there. We have some mice and SSD hard drives and shit laying up here. Don't wanna go into that. I'm not using that currently. Move close as you can hear me, by the way. Uh, yeah, here we have the streaming PC and. Uh, the PC specs for this and for my computer down there, my main computer, uh, they're going to be down in the description below so you can check those out. I am not 100% on what's in everything right now. Uh, we're kind of running out of battery here so I got to talk quick, quick, quick. Uh, over here on the other side, as you can see, we have an Xbox 360 uh, that I have yet to try and play on because um, of the, the, the circumstances. I can't get it to work right now and I'm waiting for some stuff to happen. Capture card needs to be working and stuff. And that's pretty much it. So we're gonna switch sides here. I'm just gonna leave you with this. The photo wallpaper that I've added, which is pretty, pretty sexy. You're gonna see that a lot in my, sorry, in my live streams. Uh, it's awesome, it's looking awesome. I love it. And uh, gonna do that so you can see all the way, all the way across. But yeah, this uh, this is the new uh, bro cave, the man lair, and uh, the gaming the gaming hole. Uh, so I hope you have enjoyed, guys. If you have, if you have any questions, let me know in the description or in the comment section rather, not the description, in the comment section below. Uh, check out the description for any computer spe specs or information about anything. Uh, you can go ahead and do that. Rate the videos, please. Uh, add it to your favorites if you really like it. And that's all I have to say. So have an awesome day, guys. I'm out and later.